What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another edition of Sports to the Wire. For those of you who are new to the channel, I am your host as always, Rasheed White. Alright, let's get into the video over here. The NBA has been sued by three long time referees. I mean, really, like, like veterans that's been in the NBA for like 35 years. Uh, they've been sued by... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, they've been sued by the, uh, the uh, referees for over COVID-19 religious exemption. So... If anybody, I did multiple videos on this. So in the complaint filed on Saturday, Manhattan Federal Court, Kenny Moyer, uh, Moyer and Jason Phillips, the league and property free, concluded that their sincere religious objections fell short of its high standard against being vaccinated. Okay, so understand that there's religious exemptions uh, um, that you know, companies, governments actually have to follow in a sense person can actually really take a vaccine and there's also health reasons in a sense though this could be people that are allergic to a particular ingredient in the vaccine or any kind of medication not just not just the vaccine just any kind of medication that's why when you go to uh, a doctor and they'll ask you if you uh, have any kind of allergies or anything like that so the plaintiff said the nba's job or or job ultimate ultimatum led to the suspensions for 2021-2022 uh, when the league required COVID vaccines for all employees other than players. So understand that the NBA is actually this year dropped the, the mandate to uh, be vaccinated to have any kind of position in the NBA, yet the Adam Silver still won't take them back at all. All right, so they said the league refused to reinstate them. Oh, I just said that, okay. Um, yeah, this is, this is horrible right here, man. This is really, really bad. And it violates, I mean, so many different laws. And even if they actually took the vaccine, uh, there's HIPAA laws saying, I, I don't got to tell you anything about me. If I took it or not, it's none of your damn business. So had the NBA not taken upon itself to force, uh, base conscience objectors to adhere to secular norms uh, complied of injuries would have manifested all right so the, the the complaint said and some plaintiffs were persecuted so I, I don't know if the NBA has a union or not but I know like there's certain rules that you actually have to follow I mean at this uh, let's say they actually do have a union I mean every single thing read upon uh, in the contract and, and as far as a requirement, and this is how the city lost, they have to, you actually have to put that in there when a person, let's say, applies for it. So you can't be hired already and then say, oh, um, or I want you to take this and that, this and that. So it's not just, it's not just actually, uh, what do you call it? It's not just, um, Wait, hold on. let's get back to this article over here, man. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> All right, so the the uh, the NBA and the flight immediately responds to the request for the con. All right, so of course they're gonna actually really uh, lose the lawsuit, and of course the NBA is actually going to appeal, and who knows what the actual appeal courts will actually say or what they'll actually do. So we'll see what actually happens. All right, let's. Uh, Wrap the video up. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Certainly share this video. When you share, the universe certainly shares back with you. Peace.